Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing kidneys. We are doing a class from the new series that I'm starting on my website called Yoga for the Vital Organs and Systems. We're starting this week with liver and today here for the YouTube community I'm doing one of the super important team, uh, themes, it's kidneys, Yoga for the Kidneys. It is um, kidneys govern um, the, uh, are related to the uh, emotion of fear. So I feel that it's very important to meditate on the emotion also from the perspective of the organ that is related to it. And also kidneys are related to vitality, the cleanliness of the system, the heart, um, the adrenals, uh, blood sugar from their liver, etc. So we're talking each organ is really interconnected into the oneness and it's really beautiful to contemplate it and to do the poses that support that organ. In the classes we're going to do a lot of pranayama. A lot of physical therapy meets strength training and yoga type of uh, fusion poses. You're going to be challenged but also there's going to be enough poses for us to do mudras, Today we'll do mudra for the kidneys to focus on certain meridians and the meridians that are related to the organ or an acupuncture point we'll do today. So all in all, it's going to be very diverse. It's going to be efficient and effective, all wrapped in a vinyasa flow form. So I invite you to join me for this class. And if you wish to join uh, the programs on my website, join my website. The membership is on alikamanova.com and I have, I want to say over 600, but it's going to be probably over 700 full length classes on there because I've been doing that membership for five years and I've been doing at least two classes a week. Now it's three classes a week. I've had certain programs that were 30 day programs. So it's just, you know, over time, there is a lot of content on there on every subject. Uh, every focus, every length, every level. Now I'm running a beginner uh, program on top of it, parallel to the intermediate advanced. So there is a lot for every single uh, need. For those of you that don't want to choose their classes, I do a weekly schedule with the new classes, a few of the old classes, and you're really, um, uh, everything is uh, figured out. There's going to be a short class in the week, an in class in the week. A very strong class in the week, another very strong, but one will be um, with weights, one will be power yoga, and one or an intense vinyasa, and so forth. I really like to just uh, balance things out and mix them up. All right, my probably uh, again, I'll keep saying my favorite topic or my favorite thing to contemplate. Uh, I will cover kidneys from different perspectives. Pranayama, Mudra, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture and so forth. So I'll include a little bit, I'll sprinkle, and yoga of course, poses. I'll sprinkle a little bit of each, even Qigong, into the class and I'll give you a very short intro. I'll try <laughs> so that we can get started. Kidneys are the seat of, um, of Jing, of essence. Uh, in, in the human. We come in with particular capital like savings in a bank that cannot change and it's the seed there is the, it, the, it's called Jing and the seed is in the kidney so it's a vital organ for our essence, longevity, how we age, our energy and so forth. It, it feeds of course the organs are interrelated so each one feeds or in some ways balances back and forth with the other organs kidneys and liver both are connected with the adrenals so prolonged stress can damage the adrenals and the kidneys. Uh, kidneys are connected to the emotion of fear. Um, either way if we have prolonged uh, periods of uh, fear it will uh, weaken the kidneys or damage the kidneys and the opposite is also true if the kidneys become damaged because of physical, um, for a physical reason, say uh, heavy metals in the diet, then they can, that can induce fear or anxiety, panic attacks, all of that. So this deep sense of peace uh, is achieved and related, connected to healthy filtering kidneys as the kidneys filter uh, water, filter uh, the water element 
they represent the water element. They send clean, if they're filtering well, they send clean blood into the heart, thus they're related to the heart. Heart blood pressure originally starts from the kidneys, issues with the blood pressure, issues with the heart also from the kidneys. So the kidneys are central, absolutely central, keeping them clean, keeping them happy is very important, really important in traditional Chinese medicine and uh, ancient practices. The color, as I said, is black. So black foods are really good for the kidneys, black sesame, black beans, eggplants, they're purple, but they're also good for the kidneys. And also water element uh, foods. So that would be seaweeds, but also uh, foods like celery, they have the salty because the taste for the kidneys is salty, but not the chemical, you know, extracted white salt, but just mild salty dishes. We don't want too much salt, of course, because that's drying to the system. Um, the water element in the fingers is uh, uh, <laughs> the pinky and the earth is the ring finger. So the two govern or regulate kapha. Kapha is the more watery, earthy uh, part in the Ayurvedic system. Uh, Kidneys, yeah, the foods for kidneys are, um, as I said, uh, either nourishing the yin or the yang, depending on uh, which part we need to, but millet, celery, um, all the black foods, there is black rice, uh, black beans in particular, because they are also kidney shaped. And of course, when something carries the signature of a shape, that's a frequency. So it completely resonates with the same shape organ in the in the body um, little massages acupuncture points relaxation techniques pranayama all of that can really uh, balance the system and and therefore the kidneys and um, the kidneys are also related to um, the hearing and the ears and ringing in the ears and all of those uh, um, things related to the ears very related to the kidneys also vision, of course, everything is interconnected. So let's begin and let's flow with strength and ease. <sighs> Starting standing, we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower lift and lower and really roll onto um, that area um, that's between the balls of the feet or behind the ball which is uh, one of the acupuncture points for kidney or the main and the first active point that connects to the whole kidney meridian which runs here on the inside and up so the whole inner thigh in the center of the back. We'll massage that point when we sit down. So a few more. Clasp your hands above your head and just shift side to side. You're gonna feel the kidneys in the back, especially if you twist forward and stretch this part where the kidneys reside. You can turn the, the palms of the hands up, open the elbows out, really helps with getting into the obliques, the kidneys. So the kidneys are when you reach a little forward. the back of the obliques. And let's bring water and rinse out dirty water. And just bring up water and rinse out, remove water, anxiety, fear. So this is fear removal. We're rinsing it out of the body. Crystal, spring water, removing 
There's still spring water removing. One more. And let's inhale at the front of the mat. Reach, exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead. And plank. <clears throat> Chaturanga. Feel free, Chaturanga from the knees. Up dog, Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Press the heel away from you. And we're gonna lift, you can hop just very gently with the left leg and land, um, kind of spread the bottom of the foot and land um, between the two main balls of the foot. Kind of feel that area, like a little tapping massage for the kidney one. Point, two, three, four, five, step it through, high lunge. And let's twist towards the right, lift, very stimulating for the kidneys in general. Yoga practice is for the kidneys. Some are more so than others. And looking forward, we're gonna massage the ears here. So give the soft part a good massage and then the entire here while you really hold your pose as well. <sighs> Connecting with the water element, cleaning the water element affects even visually, affects the kidneys. <sighs> Very good. And Lower down, vinyasa. This is also kidney pose, all the back bends are. Chaturanga, down dog. Take the, take the left leg up, press the heel away from you, turn the toes down after you flex the foot and we're gonna hop and really spread the bottom of your foot and land on a really nicely very good step it through high lunge twist forward take a nice high lunge one more massage for the ear so really give them a very good massage firm soft but firm hmm. breathe You're stimulating with the back foot, actually, the kidney point on the soles of the feet. So that's also just side benefit. Exhale, vinyasa. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. And let's hop again. One, two, three, four, Five, high lunge, twist. Look ahead, come back up. And we're gonna bring the knee, left knee into the rib cage, twist. And as soon as you feel that you've stabilized it, step it back. And again, 
smooth transition. Step it back. Three. Four. And five. And step it back. Exhale. The left hand down, open the hip. Flex the foot. Roll onto the outer edges of the feet. Now take side plank of your choice. Modify it as an easier one. Or you can stack the feet on top of each other. Arc the body. Lifting. And vinyas. Take the left leg up, hop, and land onto the ball of the foot and sp spread the area so you can really feel the foot. Step it through. High lunge, hands in prayer twist. Don't force it, just go as far as comfortable. Come back up and we're going to bring the knee in, twist, look back, step it back, two, step it back, three, four, five, And high lunge. Exhale the right hand down. Roll onto the outer edges of the feet. Feel the hips gently, softly opening. Side plank. Arch. And plank. Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog, let's bring the left hand to the center, right hand across, change, And down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Here we're gonna do the kidney mudra. So you have two options. General kidney mudra would be place the pinky and the ring finger on the thumb pad and then place the thumb over them, pressing the, with the thumb you press the pinky and the ring finger down and you hold that. It's actually quite a stimulating mudra. If you're in the right mindset of tuning into subtleties, you feel it. That is a kidney mudra, especially for edema, water retention, bladder, kidney, stones or uh, just filtration issues, really good. But now, on the contrary, if you don't drink water and you're very, very dehydrated chronically, which probably less of you are, but just to give you that option, you're gonna touch the tip of both the thumb and the pinky, and that's it, the other ones are straightened. Mine are not <laughs> greatly straightened, but that's something with my hands and fingers. Um, but for most of you, just this one balances the kidney in general, so hold it in high lunge. And here we're gonna do something nice. This one is Garudasana. 
eagle so we're gonna wrap the left leg around and left arm under mudra and eagle garudasana garuda uh, was the lord of the or the king of the birds or lord of the birds but also an alternative meaning was devourer um, he devoured the evil in humanity's battle against demons super amazing for right now <laughs> so soften the back of the shoulders and let them open very good this by the way is the kidney meridian so this is a very strong kidney pose step it back <sighs> i'm kind of treating you as extremely advanced in being able to hold different parts of the body in different with different mindset <sighs> exhale the arms out open the chest lift still mudra if you really like the mudra hold it longer later to the air whenever and chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog inhale the left leg up high lunge kidney mudra so you're pressing the thumb over over the ring and pinky ring and pinky are resting on the thumb pad hold it here for a moment and feel the mudra because some things will just speak to you we're exploring with curiosity different subjects because i'm a curious person in general i like to study learn so if something works for you like this mudra for example is something i really feel then you know go into it later study it or do it more do it for 20 minutes while sitting in your garden or in the sun balcony with your plant cat all right garudasana right arm under hold here and soften the back of the shoulder Breathe. we're really affecting the kidney meridian it's really toning for the kidneys this pose and prostate and bladder all right step it back and we're gonna open Just feel the motor for a moment. Straighten the legs. Keep the motor going and take plie. We're going to reach side to side. just bring a flow imagine your body is a river and there is this flow through the body metaphorically through the meridians the blood just feel the flow the water element great bring the hands you can release the mudra hands over the thighs press right hand into the right thigh look over the left shoulder another nice stimulation for the kidneys opposite and plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog breathe bring the knees down on the floor onto all fours and we're gonna go 
cat. Cat cow, I mean, so ours first. And now cat, round. Arch. Round. Arch. Round. Arch. Round. Take the toes under, take the right knee off the floor. Same thing, arch. Round knee to nose. Arch. Round. You can arch and press the heel up. Round. And change sides. And place it down. All fours. To to child's pose and we're gonna walk the hands a little further forward just a few inches so that the stretch is really big and you can't really place your seat bones on the heels so that's extended puppy pose and we're gonna come into modified all fours so shoulders over the wrists knees somewhere behind the hips and then stretch it extended puppy and again come up just so that you feel a really nice stretch through the back Extended puppy, one more. Extended puppy. A few more, really. Just turn into the kidneys here, feel them. And they're on this, above the waistline on both sides. And now, Child's pose, little, little taps, gentle taps over the kidney area, fast. That's in line with the heel drops. It's done for longevity. This one stimulates the kidney, so the essence, the vital essence, the gene, the life force. So it's done for vitality and longevity and keeping the kidneys toned. Don't whack them though, don't hit it hard, just tap it very gently so that you're like, hello, who's there? Kind of like tap, 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 wake up. All right, great. Now we're facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, warrior one. Reaching with the left hand forward into revolving half moon. And warrior one. Revolving half moon. Warrior one. You don't have to perfect it. Just feel the flow. Lift the heel if you can. <laughs> Lengthen the torso if you can. Step it back. Three. Four. I think not perfecting your practice spills out into your life so that you have the momentum, courage, and understanding wisdom to do things before you're perfect at them. Because in the doing of them, you perfect them and worry one and just move side to side here and usually we do it as a tree but here will be as a flowing river and lower down vinyas
left leg step into a warrior one let's start with the flowing river feel the flow i've been taking for a month maybe a flower essence it's a river it's sacred river a peruvian and i really in a very subtle way i feel the flow it's meant to make us flow with this emotionally and physically and take the right hand revolving half moon and back to warrior one shift revolving half moon press the left hip back lengthen the torso and step it back and again move with the breath and one more and warrior one Exhale down, plank to chaturanga, to up dog, to chaturanga, to down dog. Take the right leg up, we're gonna spice it up now. Warrior one, and bring your left foot into a hip opener here left ankle above the right knee and keep your chest open shoulders back and down and you're gonna if you are to um, um, fold your foot there is indentation between the two the main pad and the pad for the other toes and you're gonna massage that indentation kidney one which connects the whole this is the beginning of kidney meridian, so it affects the entire meridian. Good for anything, anxiety, and insomnia, kidney issues, which can be a variety of things. And since the kidneys are connected to the sound, listen. Listen beyond just the most obvious sounds. And back, warrior one. Let's deepen that twist. Grab your foot. Press the foot into the hand, hand into the foot for a little extra foot massage. And warrior one, vinyas. Take the left leg up, warrior one. And let's bring the right foot. So don't worry, every part in the foot is great for massage, but here you're just gonna, if you, if you curl your foot, there is a little, uh, one third length from the toes down of the foot. There is just a little indentation between the two balls. I don't, yes, between the two pads and the ball and the main and the bigger pad. So there, that indentation, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll either try to post a photo on it or you can just Google kidney one, search kidney one. You see, it's quite easy to find and you can massage it. If it's sore, go easy. But that means something. If it's not sore, go Open the chest. 
and step it back warrior one foot now if that's difficult knee to knee to hand if you are holding your foot just press the foot into the hand hand into the foot and warrior one here we're gonna grab our block and take wall seats because they stimulate all the internal organs mostly the ones all elimination organs which kidney falls under that but a lot of the lower small intestine and colon and squeeze press the lower back back mula bandha up very good for kidneys amongst everything else We're balancing the hips as we squeeze, release. Shoulders back and down, lower back, back. Pull the belly in, mula bandha, squeeze. Release, squeeze. Release, squeeze. Release, squeeze. Release, squeeze. Release, sit a little lower. Squeeze, release, squeeze. Ooh, release, lift your toes, squeeze. Almost there. We're getting stronger with this one though. All right, a few heel drops. So now we're gonna do them with the hands, lift clean water. And as you drop, shake it off. The excess, the, the grimy, the dirty lift 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 all right inhale lift exhale folding inhale halfway up bend the left knee take the right arm up twist you can massage the kidney area or just gently rub it and opposite side lengthen the torso hand on the kidney and exhale Forward fold. You can swing here. Left to right. Really letting the body be heavy. <sighs> letting go of um, tension, anxiety, anything that's kind of uh, frazzled energy, elect electricity. So that we can magnetize and connect to the earth. Purifying clean water. Romania is a great herb for kidneys, uh, fenugreek. I've been sprouting fenugreek. It's pretty good in salads. Little bitter. And inhale halfway up. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. Chaturanga. Exhale down dog. Breath in down dog. Again, tune into the sounds here with uh, your ears, bringing your awareness to that sense.
and we're gonna walk back to the feet kind of inchworms style walk forward into a push-up and do a push-up and walk back feel free to have your knees on the floor always but you know that you're by yourself in your house you can do whatever you want <laughs> and back you're your guide and you monitor through inner authority a few more push up and walk to the back and just enjoy one more forward fold if you need to bend the knees bend the knees as long as you want it to feel pretty relaxing here it's an inversion but also a stretch hamstrings are stretching glutes are stretching the spine is decompressing it's pretty therapeutic and plank holding plank chaturanga up dog knees on the ground and we're gonna drop the hips side to side and just feel the stretch that moves through the obliques and back down dog inhale the right leg up and open the hip lift the knee lift 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 feel joy invite joy lightness flow freedom an authentic expression all the way from the throat into the hips <laughs> and step it down while thing Feel the kidneys. We want to activate them with conscious awareness and laugh. And side plank. You know, when starting a detox, kidneys are probably one of the first thing. Liver, kidneys, stomach, intestines. Uh, they all have to be filtering properly in order for the rest of the toxins to be able to leave the body. The kidneys are related in Chinese medicine to the nervous system, neurological system, brain. And that's why toxins, especially in heavy metals form, they affect the nervous system. And if the kidneys can't filter them out. And vinyas. Take the left leg up and open and feel freedom of expression freedom in the body flow openness a sense of cleansing and step it back wow thing lift open feel a sense of freedom washing over you side plank on the ground we'll do another massage so while you do your kidney massage bait yourself especially in the root area root chakra in red beautiful red crystal pure color you always want to imagine the cleanness of 
colors, the most crystalline version. So uh, curl, you, curl your foot, find that indentation. It's one third from the tip of the toes down, one third of the length of the entire foot in that right under the ball. I'll try to remember, but if I forget kidney one, you can find it and just massage it or press it, whatever feels good. And close the eyes, since the kidney, uh, each gland is connected to a chakra, adrenals are root chakra. Adrenals work with the kidneys. So we're gonna bathe everything in beautiful, calming, peaceful, secure, safe, red. Roots extending into the earth. nourished by the water and earth element of the earth. A few neck rolls. Beautiful. If you feel benefit or attraction uh, to this, just do it in the morning or in the evening, whenever you have kind of pause, a pause in your day. Hold it or massage it and just bring, surround yourself in a crystal sphere of pure red as if you're extracting that red from the light, which you are. So the light contains all colors. To us, with our spectrum of what we can perceive, red is one of the colors we can see, perceive. Adrenals are also related to the liver. And this sugar metabolism, blood sugar regulation. So it's, it's impossible to just um, extract one organ because they are all working in union, in oneness. But they all have their job, their function. Beautiful. So now, come into a um, uh, come into a um, yogic squat, and you're gonna roll over, kind of over that area. You roll forward, and you roll back. Spread the, really spread the bottom of the feet. It's a real nice sensation, therapeutic for the feet. Barefoot walking also is good here for this kidney. <laughs> regulation purpose. All right, since we're set up for crow, let's try crow. You can, you can take it to one leg only or both. And back to the same roll. Spread the, spread the bottom of the feet. Let's twist. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Warrior two. And let's flow again. All the meridians flowing. You can look ahead and shift into half moon, standing half moon. Vinyasa. 
and inhale the left step it through warrior two tune into the breath and move and half moon open the hip lengthen the torso and bend the left knee come up plie And we'll do interrupted breath. So you can take your mudra, the previous mudra we did, kidney mudra. Or alternatively, you can just uh, do the tip of the pinky with the tip of the thumb. Or what most of us will do is uh, ring and pinky on the thumb pad and thumb pressing them down and form a V with the arms and we're gonna inhale five times interrupted inhalation long exhalation so let's go Now both interrupted, in and out, same thing. Exhalation interrupted, so inhale, smooth inhalation. Great. One more. We'll sit. Squeeze. Olabanda. Close. Release. Squeeze. Release. Squeeze. Feel the inner thighs completely activating, strengthening from all these wall seats. If you've been doing the current classes, you probably have inner thighs of, of integrity. <laughs> I was gonna say of steel, but maybe not the best visual for that. It's, it's ref referring to that old program. 
maybe from the 90s or early 2000s, bones of steel. It was like a fitness. A few more. I am um, diffusing a new oil. It's a combination oil called Restore and it's lavender, geranium, lemon, grapefruit, clary sage and vetiver. And it's very, 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 it has citrus and floral, but it's, the vetiver is usually very earthy. It's good for spaced out mind, ADHD, ADD type of kind of frazzled here to just bring single focus because with a single focus breath and awareness from the breath and the awareness, we merge with the moment, with the eternal moment and the true self. Bring the awareness inward, inner authority, so important right now. All right, and we're gonna come down. I can feel my inner thighs. And if you have bands, use them. Otherwise, do the same thing without. But you're gonna place the bands on the upper thigh, lower down, and heels together. The feet are gonna be coming, the toes are gonna be coming apart as the knees come apart. Let's do it a few times, just like this on the floor. And now we'll do it with lift, open, lift, open, lift, open, lift. A few more. Last one. And actually for this one, you can leave the bent on. It's very optional because we're gonna do the one-legged bridge pose with the hands on. I'm just explaining it again, but many of you have done it in the previous classes or the workshop. <clears throat> but we're gonna lift and this kind of pulls it back. So you gotta pull away from it, but bring your hands in too. So lift and Push the knee into the hands, hands into the knee, and pulse one, two, bridge lifts, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Remove the band. Let's do it one more time without. One, two, three. So if you're on the hill, either way is not a mistake on the hill, you're gonna really activate the ball of the hamstring too to work and the glutes. On the entire foot, it's a lot of the glutes. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend your left leg, place your <clears throat> right ankle right above the knee, kind of like in pigeon, and you're gonna drop, drop them to, to your left and look over to the right. So the knee is pressing away from you and it's stretching the IT band. A twist, but more a twist for the lower body. And come out, opposite side. Flex the foot, 
drop the left foot to the right keep pressing the knee away from you in a steady comfortable way so not forcing anything not no pain definitely just a really deep stretch so the IT bend the quads So fear is generally related to a feeling of not feeling safe that links to first chakra where safety, stability, survival is. Also energy, vitality, strength. All right, release. This was great for the <clears throat> hip IT band and we're gonna bring the left foot over the right and right hand holding the left wrist walk everything to the right and form a rainbow arc arching opposite side And stretch it out, feel it. This really stretches the kidneys too. And come out, plow. We've done this in the past, little taps in plow. Years ago, I used to do this, so real, very mild taps, so don't get heavy handed here. The kidneys really don't like to be jarred. You're just kind of gently saying hello. After I gave a birth, I didn't have, obviously, abdominal wall. It was very soft. And uh, um, I also didn't have a whole lot of fat from the belly. Uh, and uh, I could just reach through my abdominal wall and feel my kidneys all the way. Um, they were kind of like this, kind of moving. They don't, they don't sit steady. I don't, I don't think I can do that now, probably with uh, certain massage techniques that are very gently digging in. But before that, it was like, and also my intestines were um, kind of in a different order. I feel that they reordered themselves by now, but because they weren't quite the same, they were in different place. After birth, I could definitely just touch my kidneys through the abdominal wall and shoulder stand and lower down happy baby here you can massage or rock over the kidneys left to right and google gaga happiness Now it's very sad that some babies probably don't, not probably, but some babies don't experience um, total safety because they're completely connected with the mother or the caretaker. So they're psychically connected. So if they're not in a really safe emotional place, the baby will totally feel that. So when we come into this pose, we have the capacity to tap into a new moment, either if it's a memory of something good into a memory but if you don't have that memory then just rebuilding it with the mother earth with the feminine sacred feminine element or you as a mother or in however other way you can experience that so here imagine yourself as a baby and the earth as a mother and safety, protection, stability, nourishment, nurturing, 
care, absolute care, and love. And lay down in Shavasana. You can optional, but you might enjoy it. You can hold either partially for part of the Shavasana or for the entire one. You can hold kidney mudra. They're said to be most effective if they're held, if they're held mudras a little longer. And inhale a sense of complete relaxation. Softening, relaxing into the moment. And imagine yourself laying in shallow crystal spring, flowing spring water, or a creek, and just your shoulders and head above water, and the rest just a little bit of water flowing over you, and the water has this shimmer to it, shimmer quality, sprinkled with fairy dust or with uh, cosmic dust or with stardust or just beautiful luminescence, crystal clear, beautiful, pure, and just rinsing everything off of you that is old, impure, stagnant. and stay here for as long as you need to. Remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste.